Hey friends! So this is March's empties. So let's just get into it because I have, I actually have a lot of stuff. I burn candles like something shocking. I first off have this wee one here and I actually think I'm going to keep this, like keep the packaging or I don't know. I don't really know what to do with it. It seems too nice a packaging to actually just like dispose of or bin. But this wee candle is actually from Primark and it's in the flavour. Scent, scent. It's in the flavour of ylang ylang and mint, but it was the packaging itself that actually drew me to it. Beautiful, right? It smelled very, very nice to the point where I actually went and I bought another one. I have another wee candle here from Primark. Again, I bought it because of the packaging and I think I'm going to keep it because of the packaging. I just think it's a really nice like wee trinket box and I've actually took like the wax out of it as well. I can maybe store jewellery in this or I don't know hair clips, bobbles, whatever. I think I might take this off. I feel like this is just like a wee bit tacky. Again, it was a really, really nice wee candle. It was actually like a three wick candle so it burnt really well and it smelled quite nice too. I have a couple of wee room sprays. These were actually so nice. I definitely would actually repurchase these. These are from Makeup Revolution and they're just like the wee room sprays. This one here smells quite rosy which I actually quite like, but it smells more like kind of like rhubarb and custard. Kind of like rhubarb and custard, you know, like that sweetie smell. This one is You're My Type. And let me see. Yeah, see, I wasn't a fan of this one. And do you know what? They were great. They were great wee room sprays to just have in your bedroom. Spritz on your room whenever you're actually making your bed or just kind of give it just a wee bit of a fresher smell or even just to keep in the bathroom. Because obviously, like, this is the packaging. It's really, really nice. It's just got like, a really nice soft matte, gold lid, gold right in detail. So they're actually quite aesthetically pleasing as well. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go through some boring things, kind of get them out of the way. So I went through one of these wee travel size Garnier and micellar waters. I went through a cashmere touch body mist from Avon. This is the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life. I did not actually use this. This was Kate. <laughs> And he put it in my empties. I have quite a lot of wee simple mini travel size products here. I have the, is it pronounced Way? This one here. This is the Way Detox Shampoo. This was actually really, really nice. With it being a detox shampoo, I was kind of like cringing inside using this because the last thing my hair needs is a detox. Um because I just always like hydration, moisture, you know, anything that's like repairing or whatever. But now and again, it's nice to give your hair like an actual bit of a detox and like scalp care and everything like that to actually promote hair growth and healthy hair growth as such. Um, but this was really, really nice. This was a really nice like thick shampoo. And it gave my hair like a really nice lather with not that much. I actually got like two or three uses out of this. And it just really nicely cleaned my hair. It smelt beautiful what else can you say about shampoo really it was just really really nice um to the point where it actually would make me repurchase or purchase one of the other shampoos bond builder a reconstructive treatment from philip kingsley i cannot remember using this I cannot remember using this. Next I'll have this wee Harlem sandalwood and grapefruit hand and body wash. I didn't actually use this as a body wash. I literally just used it as hand soap and it was very nice actually. The scent of it was quite nice. It smelled quite masculine, but it was kind of muted the tiniest wee bit and made a wee bit more feminine with the grapefruit. Is it Nux? Nux? As much as I love this brand, I never know how to pronounce it. <laughs> This is their multi-purpose dry oil for face, body and hair. This is like a wee mini sample one. So you'll obviously recognise it whenever I show you this packaging, right? This one here is the original and the scent of this. The scent of this is actually that nice that I actually bought the perfume. It smells beautiful. To me it just smells like summer. This is what I smell like in the summer because I lather myself in it. And then you have this one, which is, what scent would this be? So this is like the floral one. Again, it's also quite nice and I liked it that much that I bought the perfume. <laughs> but it's lovely. It's just like a really nice hydrating oil for the body. See in the summertime, whenever you just have this on your chest, on your arms and your legs, your skin just looks gleaming. 
and it looks so juicy, it looks so healthy, it looks beautiful. I don't know, this is just a product that I will always actually purchase. I went through another wee body oil, this is from 43 Beauty. <laughs> Slash Colourpop. This is the Saw Body Shimmering Dry Oil. This is in the shade Lemon Drop. Um, I went through this surprisingly quick. See, one thing I will say is you will not like these if you do not like glitter on the body. The difference between these two oils here is the fact that I feel like this one's going to be a wee bit more mature and will probably actually benefit your skin more than this one but this one here just gives your skin like the most beautiful glow to the skin but it's because it is an oil whereas with this being an oil yes this actually has glitter particles in it I love it I'm all for it <laughs> And it also felt very nice in the skin as well. It wasn't like overly heavy or anything. And it didn't like just stay heavy and sticky and tacky on the skin either. I went through this wee face wash. This is by the brand Bliss. I'm actually not too sure if I've ever heard that brand before. But this is the Fab Foaming Cleansing Exfoliator. Which just had like wee bamboo buffers on it just to lightly exfoliate the skin so this was just literally like a wee clear cleanser um and it just had like exfoliating beads in it which were apparently bamboo buffers <laughs> and it was actually very nice i think i might actually also keep this bottle here because it's a pump see pump bottles they come in so handy and i love a good pump bottle especially for my cleansers because they're just so handy right so i think i might actually keep this instead of again banana I went through one of my, ooh, oh, we have another product. <laughs> one of my DW Home Patchouli candles. <laughs> it's my favorite candle ever, if you don't know. <laughs> we have another candle <laughs> that I bought simply because of the packaging. I've already eyed up some plants that I'm going to put in this and do you know what? See, by the time I have this video up, I'll obviously have a plant in it. So I'm going to put a picture up here somewhere of what this candle looks like with a plant in it. It's by the brand 96 and this brand does the sickest candle packaging pots. Candle ca ca packaging candles. Candles, we're just going to say candles, right? In terms of like the scents and also the packaging, beautiful. So, so good. So, I honestly seen this in TK Maxx and I didn't care what it smelled like. It could have smelled like farts and stinky feet and I still would have bought it. But, lucky for me, <laughs> it did smell quite nice. So, it's rose ganache and jasmine. One thing I will say and one complaint I would have would be, it smelled really, really nice until it got down to about here. Or maybe here. And then I would have burnt it and it just smelled like nothing. But how stunning is that? It's not going to be for everybody. I am aware. But my taste in things is very old fashioned things. Renaissance, you know. <laughs> I went through one of these Revlon Unique One All-in-One Hair Treatments. So this is actually a wee hair care product that I will repurchase over and over and over again. I've been using this for maybe eight years at this point and I love it. I absolutely love it. I would say if you've been with me for quite some time you would actually have heard me talk about this product quite a bit but it's literally just in this spray bottle and it's basically what it says. It's just like a wee hair treatment. You can use this whenever you mainly come out of the shower and just kind of spritz it on to dried hair but it has so many benefits. It's so so good. It repairs dry and damaged hair, strengthens and reduces breakage, heat protection in it. It provides instant moisturizer, instant moisture, it, it instantly moisturizes. <laughs> It instantly moisturises, controls frizz, boosts shine and protects colour, softness and man manageability and helps to prevent split ends. I love this stuff. Now one thing I will say is it can be quite thick and if you spray or use too much of it, it can leave your hair a wee bit greasy. So to kind of um, control where I put the stuff, I actually spray it onto my hands massage it into my hands and then just run it through my th like the ends of my hair and it smells good as well and sometimes I will actually use this as a hair mask just before I go into the shower I will actually spritz this like all over my hair or just use like a shit ton of it over all of my hair ends and whatever and I'll kind of leave it for about an hour and then I'll jump in the shower wash it off and honestly it makes your hair feel super super soft and then lastly I went through one of my nourishing oils from Beauty Bay this is just Beauty Bay's own wee brand and this is the rose hip oil now I love a good old rose hip oil any oil I will use for my skin it will definitely be a rose hip oil I just I love it I just love it for like really de-stressing the skin calming the skin hydrating and nourishing the skin <sighs>
rosehip oils are beautiful. They can be a wee bit scary though because they're literally like, hold on, there should be a wee bit left in this. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe there is, but I can't get it. But it's like, <laughs> it looks like the colour of pea. <laughs> but it's bright orange. <laughs> is it the brand Pie? Um, if I can find it, I'll put a picture of it up here. This was the very first uh, rosehip oil I ever tried. And I think like my first time actually using it, I instantly fell in love. Just because of how my skin looked the very next day. You know a skincare product is good whenever you notice a difference in your skin the next day once you actually wake up and I've been hooked ever since. Don't let the fact that it's Beauty Bay's own brand or the fact that it's affordable put you off. It's honestly the nicest wheat oil. It's just, it's just a really nice like thicker but luxurious oil and you just put it onto the skin at night and you just have the most beautiful hydrated moisturized glowing skin <laughs> whenever you wake up the next morning it's beautiful it's really really nice and i will of course try and link most of these products down below in the description box for you if i can and thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one